How to install Twerp Recovery on your Android device without a computer. What's up peeps, Manchi here, back with another video. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can install Twerp Recovery on your Android device without a computer. Now before you ask me, Manchi, if you're not going to use a computer, how are we going to do it? Well. You need another smartphone which will let you install Twerp Recovery on your target device. As you can see, I do have in front of me two smartphones. This one here is the Redmi K20 Pro and this is going to be our source device. And then this here is the Poco F1 and this is going to be our target device. Which brings us to the question that what are the prerequisites for this video? Well. For starters, obviously you need another device which will let you install Twerp Recovery on your target device, in this case the POCO F1. And this device which is the POCO F1 does need to have an unlocked bootloader. The source device does not need to have an unlocked bootloader and it does not need to be rooted either. Next thing you need is a USB OTG cable or a USB OTG dongle for your device. and I am using a type C USB OTG dongle. If your device has a micro USB port, you will have to use a micro USB style USB OTG dongle. And you can find links to some of those in the description of this video. Next up, what we're going to do is we can first turn off our POCO F1 and then we can boot it into recovery by pressing and holding volume up and power button at the same time till we see the recovery. And there it is, you can see that right now the POCO F1 has the stock me recovery. It does not have a custom recovery or it does not have TWRP recovery. Now what are the files which you need? Well, the files which you need need to be on your source device, in this case the Redmi K20 Pro. So the recovery which we are going to install on the POCO F1, it needs to be on the Redmi K20 Pro. I have already downloaded it. And here is the file to a hyphen poco hyphen enc dot img and you do need to know where you have downloaded the recovery file for your target device. As you can see, for me it is in the root directory, but if you download it on your phone directly, it will be in this download folder. So just make sure you know where you have the twerp recovery image file. As for the poco f1 or your target device. Now in some cases on stock ROMs, if you install to a recovery and then you boot into the stock ROM, the stock ROM has processes or checks built in which is going to replace your custom recovery with the stock recovery and to avoid that you have to flash Magisk. So Magisk needs to be on your target device and as you can see I do have the Magisk zip file on my POCO F1. Next thing we need to do on the POCO F1 or the target device is to enable USB debugging. For that the first thing you need to do is enable developer options and the process is different for different devices. On some devices you have to tap on the build number. For MIUI devices you have to tap on the MIUI version 7 times and I get a message that I am now a developer. So we can go into settings and then we'll go into additional settings, developer options. On some Android devices, you will have this option in settings and system. Once you are inside developer options, scroll down and enable USB debugging. If you get a warning like I am getting right now, wait for the timer to go away and then tap on accept and then make sure that it is enabled. Now once we have enabled USB debugging on our target device. We can keep it aside and we can move over to the other device which we are going to use to install Twerp. So you need to open the Play Store which of course means that you need to have an active internet connection and here you need to search for BUGJ and this is going to bring up this application called Bug Jagger and just select the application and click on install. I have of course linked this application in the description of this video as well so that you don't have to search for it and you can directly click on the link and it should open it up in the play store and once that is done all you need to do is select open and here on this pop-up message click on agree 
Now the next thing we need to do is connect these two devices via our USB OTG setup. So as you can see, I do have my USB cable over here and I also have the USB OTG adapter. So I'm going to attach this end to this type A port and this USB OTG port or USB OTG end it needs to go into your source device which in our case is the redmi k20 pro so i'm going to attach the usb otg end on the redmi k20 pro again it is very important that the usb otg end is attached to your source and the other end is connected to your target in this case the poco f1 and as soon as you connect them you will see that i have a pop-up on my Redmi K20 Pro which is saying allow bug jagger access to Poco Phone F1 I will say always allow and select OK and you will see that at the same time I got the notification to allow USB debugging on the Poco F1 which means our connection is now successful and we are going to say OK over here as well and use USB for file transfer on the Poco F1 and we can allow bug jagger access to Poco F1 one more time on the Redmi K20 Pro. Now we got a notification that the device was connected successfully. Next thing we need to do is select this option which says reboot boot loader. So we're going to select this option and tap on the plus sign and as you can see the Poco F1 automatically rebooted and bam there it is you can see that poco f1 is in fast boot mode i am getting another notification from bug jagger on my redmi k20 pro always allow and select ok and we can do it multiple times there it is we are getting an advertisement we can just close the ad we got another notification that the device is connected now we need to scroll on the top menu and select the last option with the flash icon so this is your fast boot window on the redmi k20 pro and here the next thing you need to do is you need to tap on this blue arrow which you see so this greater than and less than sign tap on this it is saying use at your own risk do not show again i understand and there it is you can see that we have fast boot shell on the redmi k20 pro tap on the type command here and here we need to first enter the command fast boot devices and once you have entered the command tap on the play button and bam there it is you can see that my device poco f1 is being detected in fast boot mode now once you have made sure that your device is being detected in fast boot mode the next command we are going to execute is to flash to a recovery on the poco f1 and the command for that is fast boot flash recovery so first we're going to type in fast boot space flash space recovery space so fast boot space flash space recovery space and then the next thing you need to do is tap on the attachment sign on the top this is going to open the file manager application so we are going to say allow over here and now you need to click on the three dot menu on the top right and select show internal storage if you get the option as hide internal storage then you need not do anything next thing click on the three bar menu on the top left and then select your device's name in this case it is showing up as xiaomi mi 90 pro whereas it is the redmi k20 pro and now you need to navigate to the folder where you have downloaded the twerp recovery image file for your target device in this case the poco f1 and if you downloaded the file on your phone directly it will be in the download folder in my case i have transferred it manually so it is in the root directory and here is the file we are looking for twerp hyphen poco hyphen enc dot img we are going to select the file and it is going to automatically populate the path and then all you need to do is tap on this play button and you can see performing command there it is sending recovery writing recovery finished everything was okay at this point we have successfully flashed to a recovery on 
the POCO F1 and now the next thing we need to do is boot our device into twerp recovery mode so you have multiple options either you can fast boot boot from the fast boot shell over here or you can just disconnect the USB cables and press and hold power and volume up on the POCO F1 which will boot it into twerp recovery mode so let us use the fast boot command from here so again we will type the same command the command is fast boot space boot and then space and then again tap on the attachment icon and select your twerp hyphen poco and then press on the plus button performing the command and bam there it is you can see that poco f1 just rebooted and at this point it should boot into twerp recovery there it is we do have the twerp recovery boot logo on our poco f1 and we are again getting a notification from bug jager but at this point you can disconnect your devices and now that we are in twerp recovery on the poco f1 all we need to do is select install and flash the magisk zip file and this is because miui will replace your custom recovery with stock recovery if you boot into miui so we do have to flash magisk to keep our twerp recovery permanent on the poco f1 so there it is the process is done all you need to do next is reboot system back into miui we can unlock our device and we should have magisk icon over here in our application drawer if not it will appear after some time bam here it is we have the magisk icon now however what we are more interested is in checking whether we still have twerp recovery or not so turn your device off and then press and hold volume up and power button at the same time till you see your recovery logo and there it is you can see that we have twerp recovery installed and there are no cables or we're not connected to the computer so there it is peeps that is how you install twerp recovery on any android device without using a computer or a pc and that will do it for this video hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you